building. So hi, this is AOA General of Outlaw Legends Gaming Network. And this is another random build video off of the brand new release version of Open RA. My opponent is Sidev. Uh, he is a individual who has been playing Open RA for a really long time, uh, longer than I have. But he took a long hiatus break and he's come back about, I think, two months ago. So we'll see how this game goes. This is playing on his new map, uh, the new Mandarins. So we'll see how this map goes. I have not played on this map yet. So obviously he's added a observation post tower here. But we'll see how things go here. Construction complete. So, build, build, build. Well, I think we're going to try a little bit of early Humvees. And we'll see what his base looks like from there. So a little bit of a scouting run, if you will. We'll see what goes from there. So, of course, um, with that in mind, we'll make sure to have our harvesters collect up the nearest Tiberium right here. I don't exactly remember what side of play is exactly. I know he likes to do a lot of infantry, so the Humvee build might actually work against that for him. Other than that, we'll see what happens here. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. That's better. Had to scoop up that small bit there. Losing a little bit of focus. It is late at night right now, so might be a little bit tired. There, good. Build a few of these and extra power plant here. Get this next one. And we'll actually go ahead and do this. Crank out an extra and get an extra refinery out as well. I'm thinking of doing APC runs, but I'm a little bit iffy on that. So we're going to just go ahead and go with uh, the scouting run first here. See what he's got. This will also help with a defense structure, just in case. Since, as I mentioned, he likes to do infantry play, or the last that I can remember anyways, but we'll see how he plays. Let's see. So I've rolled his GDI, and so has he. He's got a barracks up. Extra harvester out from there. Looks a little, it looks like he's got one power plant, so we'll go ahead and hit this a little bit. Oh, yeah, there goes the other one. Go ahead and continue to hit on that a little bit. There's the APC. Go ahead and hit on that a little bit. Run this guy away for maximum damage, and yeah, that's not going to do much. Building. So we'll go ahead and pull back. Save our home Vs if we can. Hamsters are acting a little bit weird there. But no matter. Get this going here. So it looks like he might be doing some sort of APC play then. From what it looked like. Canceled. So we'll go ahead and cancel that for now just to get our units going here. Place this down to the top. Deposit and go ahead and get a communication center going. Uh, what I think I'll do is I'll make a few mini gunners with some medium tanks and try to push out with that. Now his APC is damaged so I should be able to... Oh, he's got two of them. Oh, he's got three. Okay, well... We'll need a few of something else then. Pull this back a little bit. Get some E3 going here. And see what we can do with that. Okay. Get out some medium tanks here. See if we can deal with this little annoyance here. As you can see, it looks like he's going with an APC build here. And he's going to try and crush... He might get this harvester, but at the expense of a lot of the stuff, might go down. So he's got that one. And he's lost quite a bit of... yeah. So he's lost quite a bit of units there. I lost a harvester, but it's nothing too bad of a deal here. Um, what I will do though is I'll punch out with my two mediums. With my infantry. Actually... I'll send everything I got. Let's see what we can do with this, because I don't think he should have much at his base. I saw one refinery, he was just pumping out harvesters. So we'll see what he's got with that. We'll hold off from the extra infantry for now. 
and see what we can do. I'm hoping that I can punch his base a little bit early with some damage, but we'll see what happens with that. So what I will do is I'll go ahead and crank out an extra refinery so I can replace that missing harvester. And we'll bring these guys around to the side here. And let's see. I'm not entirely sure if this will work or not, but we'll see. Infantry at the side right there. There's a medium tank. Ah, he's got three of them. But lack of focus fire with the medium, so that'll get me going with that. Focus on the infantry. Get them taken out. And you know what? Attack on the harvester sounds like a better idea. Let's do that. Nope. Vice raid. Kind of a bummer. But let's take out as many tanks as we can. Excellent, excellent. So we did some damage to him, but not a whole lot. Get this going here, and we'll go ahead and expand to the south a little bit here. So I've got two mediums again. I'm lacking in money from Tiberium harvesting, so I need to pay a little bit more attention to these harvesters here. Pump out some of these infantry. Since he's gonna have F some extra tanks. It shouldn't be too bad though, because of the loss of his mediums. But we'll see what happens with that. Uh, pump out a few of a mixed infantry bag here. Minigunners to help support the grenadiers and all. And we'll go ahead and sell this. Get a little bit of extra income. Alright. We've got quite a bit of medium tanks here, so we'll go ahead and push up with what we got here. I'm thinking he might have some oil derricks, so let's check around the map a little bit here. We'll send this guy to the bottom here for scouting. And let's see if he's got this one up here. Doesn't, okay. On to the next area. Get this deployed. Excellent. We'll build a second refinery for more. Harvesters, and as you can see, he's going air. Shit, pull this back so it doesn't get air striked. Oh, nope, he's going for that instead. Okay. Obviously, he wants the high target, so we'll go ahead and crank out some APCs here a little bit. And. Assuming he doesn't have me scouted yet, we'll go ahead and do some damage. He's trying to snipe this out, but it's not quite doing the damage that he wants. Snipe out as much as we can. Take out all the mediums as much as possible. Yeah, that was a major miss. Oh well. But we'll kill his command or communication center. There we go. Infantry, do your damage. Keep going. Excellent. And it looks like we're punching some damage here now. Take out this war factory. Excellent. And take out the barracks. Stifle his little infantry build for a little bit. And now we'll start taking out some harvesters. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Excellent. Now we're booming in the economy. Let's start prepping for some tech. Because he's going to fall way behind. Those medium tanks. Well, that's what happens when you go air. Didn't have a response for the medium tanks. That's what happens when you don't have E3 or the uh, or you go straight for a quick air build. That'll tend to happen. So as you can see. Yeah, they'll kill buildings fast, but not if you have a direct counter for them.
DPS doesn't really matter, as you can see. Because if I go scout his base right now, I bet you he's not going to have much because I killed all of his harvesters. And he's not going to be able to produce tanks because he went with minigunners and grenadiers. He doesn't have any E. And he doesn't have any E3 in his build. So let's have a quick look at his base here. Minigunners, communication. He went with an MLRS. Not a good idea if I'm using fast-moving units because you can just do this with APCs. Yeah. So that was not a good idea. Uh, he didn't rebuild anything here, so. We'll go ahead and take a quick look at the replay to see what he's got. Just really quick, so I can kind of give you an idea of what he did. All right, so let's see. Refinery, War Factory, Extra Harvester, APC, good counter for what I was doing here. That was really good. And then he went with three extra APCs for the uh, Harvester Snipe here. Four APCs, so he went three Harvesters similar to what I did. But I got out a quicker tank, it looks like. And I actually made E3 for this. As you can see, he tried to do the crash, that missed. He instead focuses on the harvester. Now, of course, I didn't focus fire because I wanted him to do spread damage. So, that happened there. He got my harvester, but he should have kept that APC alive, so now he's down to nothing. Now he's got his own medium tank, but he's only got one. He wasn't making anything from his barracks, so... Now he's got two, still no infantry or E3 of any kind. Still no E3 of any kind. So, and then the lack of focus fire from his tanks right here, that also did it. So with these E3 and the medium tanks here, I was able to snipe out a few harvesters. I actually got two of them and a majority of his tanks as well. So as mentioned, if you don't have a counter for the medium tanks, then yeah, they will kill stuff really fast. But as you can see, uh, I took a punch on his units right here from the, the build that I did. So now he's got minigunners and grenadiers. There's still no sign of E3 here. He went with a fast air unit build, which is good for scouting, but one air unit isn't gonna do a lot to a communication center. You're gonna need more than that, or strike a harvester or even this medium tank. You can strike the other targets like this. Um, but otherwise, this MLRS really didn't do anything, and as you can see, kind of came down quick here. The medium tanks that he had, he only had about two to three of them, so they got wiped out real fast. MLRS, not going to do much, and he's still producing mina gunners instead of E3. He should have made E3. This would have countered the medium tanks more so. As you should know, E3 got a buff, so they do more damage. And that's essentially what happened right there. Plus, I expanded with two refineries. So, this has been AOA General of Outlaw Legends Gaming Network. Hope you enjoyed that. Battle control terminated.